Yes, hello everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, me and Pallavi are back, joining you for our weekly power circuit chat. Today, Pallavi is in Punjab, where she, I, where I left her last, and I am in <laughs> Uttar Pradesh, and I am in uh, Amethi, the hot district of uh, UP, and I am waiting here at a small public meeting of Mr. Sanjay Sin, who is about to come, the Raja of Amethi, who is fighting on a BJP ticket after. I think it's contesting an election, Pallavi, after three decades, an assembly election. Yeah. And uh, yes. second ghar vapsi of him to the BJP two years back. And now he's contesting from here. But first, let's come to Punjab. Punjab polls in another five days. So, who's the last week in Punjab? Mein? But the, uh, the last week, really, of Punjab elections. And you can see I'm right in Patiala. And Patiala becomes significant because this is the turf of Captain Amrinder Singh. But you know, as hmm. you also pointed out, Amman, it's so difficult to find a poster of Punjab Low Congress. In fact, no posters, no banners, even outside his house. That's how bad the scene is really in Patiala. And you know, you get mixed voices. Many of them feel bad for him. That, you know, they say, look at the way he was ousted out of the Congress party. Some hmm. say he deserved it. But you know, everywhere I've traveled in Punjab, they're all talking about winds of change. Now, both the Congress as well as the Ahmadi party are going to see it differently for themselves. According to Ahmadi party, they obviously think that this means it's their time. That's the change they are bringing. And as far as the Congress is concerned, they feel that under Channi, that's the kind of a different Congress that they're going to come out with. But to talk about the Congress party, this is something that you and I were discussing. I'm really amazed at the kind of political campaign that they're running. It's now increasingly become very Delhi-centric. Lots of Delhi leaders are flying down, which is fair enough. I think every political party does that. But the point is that they're not even out campaigning. They are huddled up in a five-star hotel over here. They're thinking of a strategy. Like a KC Venu Gopal is the organization general secretary. I'm still trying to figure out what is he going to do here. From Kerala to Punjab is really a very, very long day. And for the Congress party, you know, I'm standing in Patiala. You, I don't know. I think you can see those Kulkaris right behind me. But very yeah. of Punjab, especially in Patiala. The color is off, off the Congress campaign. I see most seen in the AAP campaign. Not only AAP, even the Kali, mm. they seem to be holding on to their own. And I'm talking mm. the Congress party is becoming too centric, Delhi-centric. And also on the fear factor, the fear of the Ahmadi mm. party is also coming in, which is why they're deep on mm. the strategy. You know, Rahul Gandhi suddenly started attacking AAP and not the BJP so much, talking yeah. about what we did, getting the Youth Congress in, getting a Sandeep Dixit or Alka Lamba in. And now they're focusing on AAP, but many feel it's a little bit too late. But what about a Mehdi, the bastion now, Smriti Rani, BJP, Sanjay Singh? One point of time, always seen accompanying Rahul Gandhi. Look at the twist of fate and destiny. Yeah. Uh, ek thing jo Amethi mein missing hai, Pallavi, wo Congress hai. There is no Congress left in Amethi, it seems. I didn't see any poster, any sign of Congress. Yahan pe Amethi, in fact, a very interesting fight, which you will write and run tomorrow. How it's a fight between Sanjay Singh and the wife of Gayatri Prajapati, the former minister yeah, in yeah. SP government, whose wife is contesting from here. So, very interesting dynamics, but clearly, one thing which is clear in Amethi, as well as Rai Bareli, I think, is the missing of the Congress. You can't spot the Congress here anymore. In Rai Bareli, Aditya Singh has left them. In Amethi, Sanjay Singh has left them. Both their tallest leaders in the two districts are now with the BJP and fighting on a BJP ticket. And uh, I think that is going to be the major thing. You know, I think this is the run-up to 2024. Aditi had also challenged Priyanka Gandhi to come and fight her from Rai Bareli. That didn't happen. I don't think even Priyanka Gandhi is at all going to fight in UP at all now. You know, it's very clear now. The tickets are all almost decided in the last day of nomination. The last phases are also coming up. But, you know, a point about the Congress in Punjab, Pallavi, Marriott Hotel, where the Congress is sitting there, Chenni ko bhi CM wahi banaya gaya tha Marriott Hotel se hi. Aur Siddhu had stomped out from there, I remember, last time. Jab unko, he was, you know, Chenni's name was propped up. So clearly, Congress, I think, what I found during my travels, what you have also must have found during your travels, every person on the road, at least 8 out of 10 people on the road you meet, say, Hame badlaav chahiye. Hame nahi sarkar chahiye, sab bhrasht hai. Sab, sab se tang aato ke, sanu navi sarkar chahi di hai. Sanu change chahi da hai. Sanu badlaav chahi da hai. Wali, this sentiment, I think, is very, very prevalent in Punjab. And as you rightly said, what is this sentiment for? Is it for the Aam Aadmi Party, which is a complete change, a new party? Or is it for the change in Channi? A new CM who showed some work in the last 111 days, 
एंड आई थिंक सम पॉइंट यू नो विच आई फाइंड वेरी प्रॉब्लमैटिक लाइक प्रियंका गांधी सेइंग दैट हमें पता था कि अमरिंदर वाज वर्किंग ऑन द बीजेपी सिग्नल देन फ्रॉम डेली यू नो व्हेन शी केम डाउन टू कोर्ट का पूरा शी डिडंट से एनीथिंग ऑन द सैटरडेज एंड पुलिस फायरिंग केसेस एंड हाउ कैन यू से दैट फॉर अ हाफ ईयर यू न्यू ही वाज वर्किंग फॉर द बीजेपी एंड यू डिडंट चेंज हिम यू वेटेड फॉर द फैक एंड ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट यू नो दीस आर आई थिंक वेरी टफ क्वेश्चंस व्हिच द Congress will have to answer in Punjab in the, on the day of the election and before that also, Pallavi. Yes, and I'm in Patiala where Rahul Gandhi is going to be coming here in a short while from now, and he's going to be, of course, doing a rally over here. He's also going to Mansa, which I went yesterday, where I spoke to Musa. You know what really strikes me is the listlessness of the campaign. They're all working in an island. You know, everyone is contesting for themselves. If there's no party effort. Uh, you know what you find in AAP, for example, and I find it in Akali's that single face for AAP is like Kejriwal, Kejriwal everywhere. So that's going to be the Trump card, and for Amadi, uh, for Akali's of course is the Badal who becomes there. Over here is just about everybody, and you know like when you talk to when I ask them, you know for example the Chinese people that where are your MLAs? I don't see him campaigning for your other MLAs. So they actually tell me as you Punjabi say, "Sanu ki, hamen kya farak padta hai?" You, they very proudly. Tell Telling me that we don't even take the phone calls of the MLAs. You cannot, as a CM, face work in an island. And let's talk about Ramjot Singh Sidhu. I mean, I know the clarification which came in from his office that he had 102 degrees temperature and therefore he did not speak. But he spoke yesterday in Amritsar. Today, Priyanka Gandhi Wadra goes in Amritsar. You know, the Congress yeah. campaign now is captured in placating different camps. That's not the way it's done. In the bang, in the midst of elections, you have a Ashwini Kumar, who's been a member of Parliament from Punjab. Yes. Your former law minister, he resigns, and he says, "You know, things are not good." You have a Manish Tiwari who puts up video content every day, showing the kind of crowd he is gathering because he's campaigning for the MLAs from the Anandpur Sahib Lok Sabha constituency. Is this the way you run a political campaign? Where I'm standing now, you—I don't know if you get to see it, but I just saw an Akali Dal scooter go by. I saw the Punjab Lok Congress van go by. I saw an Aam Aadmi Party. I'm still trying to find out of the Congress Party. In fact, just see, I don't know if you can see the pictures right there. I remember now. You're going to be tough getting at one. Flags of Aam Aadmi Party are there. Punjab Lok Congress mm. is there. मुझे तो कहीं में भी I mean, in fact, just look at the whole rows of you know uh, shops over here. All of them have the Aam Aadmi Party and the Punjab Lok Congress. You know, and jobs, unfulfilled yes. promises. I don't know. I don't even think they believe in Chandi factor so much now. But in UP, how does it look? Lalu Yadav well, I, convicted today. I, you think it's going to have an impact on the Yadav thing? Well, in UP also, if you come Pallavi, basically you can only see two parties in the fray. You can see BJP, which obviously you will see because it's a ruling party. It has the might. So everywhere you see this, like which uh, you know has brought all this venue of uh, Sanjay Singh and of these songs of Ek Bar Phir Dubara BJP are playing here and all of that. So and the other part is Samaj. You know, which is there on the two parties, BSP and the eastern part of the U. There is soil and stuff. The seats should do as much. So clearly, there is a problem in the Congress in both these states, UP and Punjab. UP, anyways, I don't think they have much hope. But Punjab and UP, if are not going to come the in Punjab, it will be a massive blow to Congress, and it will have. Nobody else. It's helpful. To... But it's I agree with you. Happens. And Aman, Punjab six months back to the state which was waiting to be taken. If Congress loses in Punjab, it just epitomizes that Congress is very good at one thing: how to lose elections, especially elections on which they're capable of winning. But I also notice Aman, you're speaking more in Punjabi than you're speaking in Hindi. ये तो गलत बात है. मैं हूँ पंजाब में, आप तो हो उत्तर प्रदेश में. But guys, that's it from us. Um, I'm going to just go off uh, for some little bit of shopping also. Pulkari, I'm contributing to the economy that way, and of course Rahul Gandhi's thing. And you catch up with Sanjay Singh, guys. Do watch out for his report. It'll be interesting to hear what Sanjay Singh had to say because he was one person who would actually drive Rahul Gandhi inside the Munshi Ganj guest house, not too far away from his mahal. Is do give in your reactions on the social media timeline. 
Aman, we are going to catch up. I am Punjab. I am going to go to Delhi. And you, of course, will remain in the Pradesh. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And do give in your response on the social media channel. Bye, Aman. See you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye.